Hey, you gorgeous people of the interwebs. I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day today. Don't be alarmed. I'm not. I'm not naked. Just got out of the shower, and I thought things haven't gone to plan this week, so I'm going to do a cheeky little get ready with me uh, because we're about to head out to meet some friends for lunch. And I might turn it into a little bit of a vloggy vlog. But um, yeah, so things haven't gone to plan YouTube-wise this week. Uh, so I thought I would tell you all about it while I'm moisturising and thing. Right, so I've got my um, Simply Human mirror that I got for myself as my big uh, vlogmas Christmas Day advent homemade advent calendar i've got a little guest here and i'll give you an update on her as well oh lily that's that's not the way to reintroduce you to the to the youtube community she's a good girl though she's having a bit of a clean so yes lily is out of her um enforced bed rest um yesterday was four weeks since the incident that took us to the Emergency vet. Right, let's start off putting this on because my skin's feeling really horrific. Um, I am using a little tester pot of the Estée Lauder. Uh, this is the Advanced Night Repair. This is the eye cream. I always put this one on first. And then I'll get you updated on what's been going on. So we have, and also by the way, thank you very much everyone for all of your um, how is she doing inquiries she has improved a lot but what we do know now is what was the cause of the problem and likely the cause of her original problem 18 or so months ago and then i've got the estee lauder advanced night repair in the um this is the face synchronized multi-recovery complex this is a super-sized jumbo bottle. Um, I get this in a double pack from Harrods and I need to order some more because I'm down to the last few drops. Um, it's £240 for two big bottles, which is a big outlay in one go, but that's lasted me about a year. Rather than buying individual um, bottles of the stuff, for more money, like per 100 millilitres, is a more cost effective way of doing it. Estée Lauder, this is the Daywear Light, Daywear Eye. This is a nice light, light gel feeling, cold feeling cream to go on, which I really, really like. It helps, makes me feel like I've got a bit of a zing going on, a little bit of a hoo hoo, she's awake going on. Right, stop faffing. Um, what happened was uh, the so she was already booked in for an MRI because she hasn't really improved from the original injury. She was continuing to hold her tail wrapped around her, protecting that leg. That leg appeared to have no feeling in it. Um, she was using it like a little peg leg. She wasn't really using it, using it. Um, so we booked her in for an MRI anyway, and then something happened and she went... Uh, off like a shot and we ended up in the emergency vet because her leg was kind of sticking out and it looked like she had no control over it whatsoever. Um, so she was booked in for the MRI anyway, we took her to the emergency vet, they gave her a dose of methadone, um, she was off her face for a couple of days and they said right okay we'll take her in for the MRI, we can't find any damage, like there's nothing dislocated or broken or anything, so take her in for the MRI and see what they say. So that's what we did, we kept her locked up. When we picked her up he took us through the results, I'm sorry I'm all over the shop here, um, he gave us the results, he showed, talked us through the MRI scans which were utterly fascinating. She's got a sort of degenerative um, disorder with her discs and that was the cause of the problem a tiny part of a disc and we're talking like he said it was about a millimeter or so had broken off from the disc and shot up into her spinal column and that's the cause of this so in the MRI scan the the impact point showed up really, really bright. And when he got the second opinion, that was verified by his specialist colleagues. And they even said they could see the area. And again, we're talking like millimeter. Um, they could see the area in the disc where it actually, that piece had 
broken off. It was lucky that it wasn't a disc down because if it was a disc down that would have been on her sciatica nerves and that would have taken out both of her legs. She wouldn't have been able to use her legs. We think this is a repeat event from the initial one so where we thought she'd got into, she may still have gotten into a fight with something but rather than being injured by the animal um, the injury is internal and it's all been around her spine, poor little thing. So we're going to have to um, take her for some physiotherapy and we will learn how to do physiotherapy on her. So she's just a little broken kitten, a little broken kitten. It's a good thing you've got Daisy as your support animal, isn't it? She's a bit quieter now, so let me show you. Hello, don't panic. So the leg that's on the bottom there underneath her, that's her gammy leg. And you can't see because she's sitting down, lying down, but that's the side that she wraps her tail around. Isn't it Lily? Hello. Oh, is that a microphone? So yeah, we let her out yesterday. She came and sat with us on the sofa. She's been a little bit hidey. I think she's got a bit of that um, institutionalized flavor from being locked away in the room. She didn't want to come out initially. Um, so, right, where was I? Moisturizer. I am using this Clarins Reboost mattifying hydrating cream. I bought this for winter, basically because I use the sort of similar Estee Lauder day cream but it's a light gel and the weather's just been so windy and cold and the heating's been on and all of that kind of stuff so I needed something a little bit more punchy to hydrate my skin it was feeling really dry so I got this reboost from Clarins um, just as a interim thing and I have been using I don't know if this is going to show up I can't even see Oleo para a face this stuff that this was one of the items that I got in the beauty gift from Harrods when I basically when I bought this I think it was um, it qualified me for the spend to get the beauty gift for free where I got the big orange and purple bag as well so I've been adding a couple of drops of that to the moisturizer to give my skin a little extra boost and what I like to do is because I don't wear foundation and stuff like that I add a bit of this Clarins SOS this is the Boost Race Boosts Radiance. It says it's a primer, but I like it because it's got like little sparkly bits in. So I just get a little scoop of the cream and a little drip of this on my fingers there. And then I'll add a couple of little bit. I'm not going to turn my hand upside down. Just to add a couple of drops of that and basically just smoosh that together there and then press it onto my face in various areas and hopefully that distributes a little bit of everything a little bit of everywhere it does feel nice to be hydrated and usually i will remember to do my dior prestige the rose balls thing um once a week and that gives it right really in-depth hydration i absolutely love that I've got a video on that particular thing because I couldn't believe how much I spent on it, but I do think it is worth it. Right, so that is moisturizer done. Um, I am going to go and see if I can wear a bra. This video for today was meant to be my M&S try-on from our little shoppy vloggy vlog and the things that I bought then and subsequently ordered. But since I filmed that video in M&S and ordered the um, the other sizes and things like that that I wanted to try, I actually did my, I don't know what happened, but I did a muscle in my shoulder here, back here, round about there. And so I was in extreme pain from the beginning, like, day before the Easter weekend started and on Tuesday I went to an osteopath man she beat the ever living everything out of me and she did the sort of bouncy thing where everything went click and the pulling my neck and all of that kind of stuff so I've been very tender since then it's Saturday morning very tender since then I've not been able to wear a bra bra because I put a bra on the following day and the strap was just like someone putting a knife on my shoulder and um, so basically I've just been in a huge amount of pain in my shoulder it is getting better now I've got another osteopath appointment follow up on Tuesday just watching Lily walk down the the hallway she really doesn't look comfortable poor little thing um, so hopefully that's going to encourage 
better recovery and um, then I'll be able to do a try on because I've not been able to do a try on I've not been able to wear a bra and no one wants to see a try on without a bra not on this girl anyway right I am going to go and see if I can try on a bra okay I'm in a bra it's progress okay I'm gonna do some very very basic makeup like I said I don't really wear any foundation or anything like that and then I'll show you my bag and outfit of the day first up just gonna curl my lashes this always fills me with horror and fear. How's everyone else doing? While I'm using my instrument of torture. How are you guys? Did you have a lovely Easter weekend? How's your week been since then? Eyelash curlers, I need to get some new ones. These are from Shu Imura. Shu, Shu Imura. That I could do with some new ones. So any recommendations for those? Now I will take those gladly. I'm just gonna put a little bit of, this is a sort of navy blue eyeliner this is from Charlotte Tilbury so just a little just a little squidge of this oh this feels like it's melted oh this could be dangerous gonna end up with a massive blob now my mascara is this is the one that I keep going back to this is the they're real by benefit and I just keep coming back to this one because it's so ruddy bloody amazing uh, and I've been to Dior, I've tried Gucci. Yes, the Gucci mascara made it look like I had um, little spiders on my face. Wasn't, wasn't a fan of that. Didn't feel like volumized or anything like that. Just felt like all clumped together into little, little tiny blades. Oh, it's all going everywhere. Oh, now I feel like I've got an eyelash in my eye. Oh, I've done it on this side now as well. This is why this isn't a makeup channel and why I don't do get ready with me so very often because I am not good at it at all. The eyelashes on my left side always behave slightly strangely and I do believe that's because I sleep on my left side predominantly. By the way, CPAP update, I'm a changed woman. Meredith, when I revealed that I have now got a CPAP machine, she said, you're not going to know yourself, Gwenny, after getting some sleep. Meredith, you are correct. I um, do not know myself. <laughs> I've got so much more energy i'm not feeling exhausted for what appears to be no apparent reason i sleep through the night it's just i'm so quiet it's just it's just astonishing this is just an eyebrow brush it's a number seven boots cheap and cheerful and this is the 24 hour brow setter from uh, benefit also i didn't know these things existed until or well, dale mentioned them on Maybe not this specific brand, but mentioned a brow setter on one of her Get Ready With Me's. And I was like, I need this product. I never knew this existed. Because I don't go looking, I'm not, I'm, I like playing with makeup, but I'm not really into makeup. You know, I'm not into contouring or anything like that. Don't wear foundation, don't generally wear blush. I've got um, a natural redness that comes to my face. Um, right, so makeup done. I'm going to wear Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia today because spring really does feel like it's springing and it's a sunny day. Although I don't want to get too carried away and just assume that, you know, it's going to be bright sunshine. The ears are coming off. Great Prezi, love those ears. Right, now I'm gonna go and brush my hair and then I'll show you my outfit of the day and my bag of the day. Hair, I literally have just thrown a comb through it because I'm expecting to get a little bit windswept today as we will be on the seafront. I've just got a little um, elastic-y thing to tie all of my hair back with at that moment and failed to mention my lippy of the day and that's the Gucci um, lip balm, tinted lip balm in colour number two, No More Orchids, my favourite lip balm. It's got a nice 
little sheen to it and can you see a tiny sparkle I'm feeling very hot because i've just done all the makeup and moisturizer and stuff so i'm feeling a little bit hot from that so i'm probably i'm touch sensitive so i'm probably still a little bit pink in the face from that right what am i wearing it's weird because like i said spring has sprung but not fully so i feel like it's a bit of a mishmash you can tell me what you think by the way I'm very close to 3,000 subscribers and I've got myself a little treat to celebrate with you. So when you, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, get me to 3,000. I want to make sure that it's stable because I tend to gain one subscriber and then lose two at the same time. So I'm um, trying to keep that bit stable and once I'm happy that I'm not going to dip back under 3,000 after a couple of weeks, I will reveal it to you. And I also have a double... Longchamp unboxing which I'm hoping to film tomorrow okay enough talking I am wearing this decades old almost it feels like it can't even remember where this shirt is from but it's a denim shirt pink jumpsuit it's got pockets my little pink jumpsuit underneath I'm wearing my Gucci um, sneakers and for anyone who's interested I'm wearing socks with cats on <laughs> because I am the mad cat lady. So that's my outfit of the day. What is my bag of the day gonna be? As we're going to the seafront, bag of the day is going to be my JW Anderson crocheted fish bag. Man, I am excited to finally use this cutie. I think she's gonna get a lot of action over the summer. So what do you think? What do you think of my outfit of the day? Before I head off to lunch, there's just one last thing. My Gucci Sunnies, obvs. It's a hedge. It's a hedge, yes. Lots of hedge. Yes. Yeah. All the hedges suddenly appeared when I said, get the camera out. All the hedges appeared. Also, I want to know, where's the sun gone? Hedge. We were promised sunshine. It's, it's up there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Hedge. Lots, Lots of hedge. hedge. Oh, oh no, I missed little it. Little break. Oh. Break in the hedge. Break in the hedge. with our besties it's been over a month since we've seen them um so yeah we had a lot of catching up to do we went to a wine bar then we went to a pub then we had our lunch and then we went back to the pub and it was just gorgeous to sit outside it was overcast not as sunny as as promised but the temperature was nice and it was just lovely to sit outside lunch was amazing and I completely missed filming it as it came out. I only remembered to do it after we'd eaten it. So it's a different way of doing food vlogging, I suppose. Look at what I have eaten. Terry was a bit of a hit. Um, he's been called Terry by the bestie. She's calling him Terry Turbot. <laughs> the lion's like, he's not a turbot. He said he was a cop. A big hit. Uh, so much fun to carry. Let's do a quick what's in my bag. What's in my Terry? Uh, so much fun this thing so much fun so you open him like a little cone type thing i have got my gucci sunnies that i still wore even though it wasn't particularly bright and that's what else i've got in there so my gucci lip balm that i mentioned earlier 
uh, my little dress up your purse pouch with all of me Rennies and dress up your um, Dale's addiction bag hook and headache pills and all that kind of stuff and then my Louis Vuitton clay pochette clay with my keys in it and that was everything but I was impressed I did have my phone in there um, at times as well my phone being the Samsung Flip 5 so that's no problem going in there but I was impressed that my sunnies would fit in and because it's got a little cone shape in the top if it sticks out it will still fit in so we just got home um, gave the girls some licky licks and we'll see if Lily is ready to be sociable a bit later and if not then this will be the end of my get ready with me and little mini vlog i hope you've enjoyed it give it the thumbs up love if you did and as i said earlier if you're not already subscribed then subscribe go ahead and do it help me get to 3000 subscribers and so i can share my little goodies with you uh, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, stay friendly, Daisy. Bye bye!